Hey everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope you're doing well. I thought I'd answer another question today, and this comes from uh, Renan Castro. I wonder if he's Brazilian. It would be Henan Castro. Anyway, uh, he hit me up on Instagram. Hello, Ryan. Your Kama Jiu Jitsu channel was largely responsible for my interest in Jiu Jitsu. You guys are great. I'm messaging you to suggest some topics for a video. Sore knuckles due to gi grabbing, taping your fingers, deformed fingers in jiu-jitsu. I just had my roll yesterday and my finger, my finger joints are killing me. So that's why I came up with this idea. All right, fingers, okay. This is 32 years of jiu-jitsu, right? Right, no cracking, no, no joints, right? Um, they don't look like uh, certain kind of beads are on my finger. Why is that? Now, when I first started jiu-jitsu, you know, I did have that feeling, um, kind of arthritic feelings in my fingers uh, from grabbing the gi. And, and that when you're grabbing like this and you're using your, your fingers, right, which are, if you imagine your body being a tree, right, uh, you've got your trunk of the tree, which is the strongest part. Obviously, if, assuming the roots are in the ground, right? Your trunk is the, the biggest, strongest part of your body. Your arms are branches and your fingertips are twigs, right? Why are you going to use your twigs to try to control somebody else's trunk? It doesn't make any sense. So what you need to do is learn how to use your body to do the work. Your hands are finishing tools meaning when you need to finish a choke, it's there. Your hands are not designed to be used to control your opponent, right? You're gonna use your weight, your connection, your elbows, right? Your, you know, your, 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 your branches are gonna be used after you learn how to put your weight down and your twigs are only used, your fingers are only used to finish. So what happens is if you overuse your fingertips and a lot of people, you know, and I understand the whole thing about grip strength. Grip strength is important, but at what cost, right? You know, I, you, know, you know, that whole thing about people throwing a belt over a gi over a bar and grabbing like as if you're grabbing a gi and then doing chin-ups with it, you know, that will fuck your hands up, right? And what will happen is your hands will be so messed up over time, you will develop arthritis in your joints and to the point where you're gonna need to tape your fingers up for, for you to feel any kind of relief. So what I suggest is you know, and I don't take my fingers at all, neither does Dave. Um, Hickson would do it for the camera, but in, in, in the studio, Hickson wouldn't tape his fingers. Why? He didn't need to. And I actually learned, uh, learned this from Helson um, way back when I was still a white belt. And he said that when you grip, it's not really a grip. It's more of creating a little hook, and you hook and you twist. So what he said was, if you imagine making a fist, right, and squeezing with all your might, he was showing how all the muscles over here in your forearm were flexed. So what he was saying was instead, just create a hook with these three fingers and these two use for more finishing. So you're not really gripping with these two. So what he was saying was that by just using these fingers here, you end up having a relaxed section right here. But when you put it all in, then this part will then tighten up as well. So he says what you want to do is you want to just create hooks instead. So Hook your hands into the gi and just hook. If you're gonna grab sleeves, you grab, you create the hook and you twist, right? But here's the thing, you don't want your fingers to get ripped. Meaning if somebody, if you, if you grab somebody's gi and they rip their gi out of your hand, just let it go. Don't fight it, right? A lot of people injure their fingers because they're insistent on holding that onto that gi for dear life. And sometimes when your fingers get ripped off of it, your opponent is using more power to rip your fingertips off than you are holding or that you can even capably generate holding. Now I did come across a couple of people in my 32 years that have had tremendous grip strength but here's the thing number one they were large you know we're talking guys that are like 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", they have monstrous hands and to them you know, them going 50% is like the average man going 120%, right? They're, they're just that strong. Now, you're not going to break somebody's grip like that. On the other hand, for them, they don't need to go all that hard to maintain the grip. Now, imagine yourself, let's say you're an adult male, and you're training with a child. How hard do you need to grip that child's gi to maintain control? Probably not very hard. So use that as kind of a point of reference. 
you don't need to use your fingertips to that degree to maintain control of your opponent. Instead, think of ways to, to marshal the resources of the bigger parts of your body to control your opponent rather than the smallest part, i.e. the twigs, right? Because you're gonna break them all the time. You're gonna break them, dislocate them, they're gonna be mangled, and you're gonna have arthritis in your hands, and it's gonna make jujitsu hard to do 20, 30, 40 years from now when you're 50 years old. And you know, when I see 30, 35, 40 year olds with taped up fingers and busted up knuckles, then you know, then I know that something is wrong there. And, and I feel bad for them because you know, why do you want to be, you know, cr crippled, right? Um, you know, I, I, I think I remember hearing about, was it Keenan Cornelius who, who mentioned something to the fact that his, you know, his hands are so messed up that, you know, he has a hard time, um, you know, doing stuff like he used to because his hands or his, his grips have been so overused, right? Your hands are very valuable and you need them to do a lot of stuff in life. And you don't want your hands to be messed up. So try to preserve them as best you can. If your hands get into a fight, a grip fight with somebody, just let it go. You know, there's no reason to fight it, right? Look for an alternative way to get what you're looking for. So for you beginners, you know, who, um, so, so Hinan Castro, Renan Castro, your brand new guy, learn early on. Do not use, do not overuse your, your grips, right? If your coach tells you, grip, 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 you know, something is wrong. Because I'm telling you, you do not need to use your grips that much. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. And if you know somebody or if you are somebody who has this kind of grip issue with your hands and arthritis at a younger age than, than 53, um, who's been training 32 years, then take, take what I'm saying to heart. You know, I've got nothing to gain by telling you that to do this way. Or, or, you know, and, but you have everything to gain by doing what I suggest. Anyway, do me a favor, go ahead and like the video if you watched this far, and go ahead and share the video if you know somebody who you think could benefit from this little bit of advice, and I appreciate you guys. Happy training. Bye now.